Well, good morning, everybody. It's 49 degrees. Yes, it's a little cooler than it has been. Uh, we had uh, a frontal system that came through yesterday afternoon with a big, strong north wind. You might have noticed it. Uh, got uh, right now, we're at 17 miles an hour, so that's what's making it feel a little colder. In fact, it feels like it's 43 with the temperature at 49. We did get up to 83 yesterday. I was rather hot. I mean, I was trying to do a little gardening. Uh, and I felt it, but I also felt the front come through late in the afternoon, so that was nice. That's going to be gone. In fact, our high temperature today is about 60, so I would grab the jacket if I were you. You're going to need it all day. Right now, we're looking at 48 up in Rockport, 48 in Robstown, and 50 down in the Falfurious area. Our front is all the way south. It's uh, past Brownsville already, and everybody is getting a little bit uh, drier air coming in. While we're in the 40s down here, North Texas, well, they're in the 20s and 30s. Uh, this is a monster blizzard uh, rolling through the Midwest. I'll talk about that in a second. Right about here, you see this precipitation, and it looks rather interesting, but it's basically a streak of low of um, low pressure rolling over the cool air and as a result a lot of this is not actually hitting the ground it looks very impressive but the dry air is very dry as a result of the, the dry air is very dry you see very dry uh, and that's rolling in with that north wind so we have nothing around our area and expect all of this cloud cover to burn away today in fact all of this is streaking to the northeast so we really don't look at it as incoming stuff so as our front pushes all the way south it's actually associated with the monster blizzard that began in the Midwest over the weekend. I don't know if you have friends or family, but Kansas, Nebraska, St. Louis, up to a foot of snow, and uh, they're looking at blizzard conditions right now in the Chicago area. Uh, we are looking at, of course, that blizzard to continue rolling to the east, and it is just the beginning. It's actually the second snowstorm of the season already. For us, we have to now look uh, for the rest of the winter, really, at what happens up here in this corner of the world. That's the Pacific Northwest. That's where the big monster, very wet storms comes, come in first to the country, and then we'll see if they make it over the Rockies and into our area. That does have a frontal system that'll eventually get to Texas, but at this point in time, it's real hard to say if it's gonna be anything significant. Right now, significant is this. Uh, you can call your friends in Chicago. They're probably digging out right now, or certainly this morning. Uh, blizzard uh, conditions with, of course, heavy rain ahead of it. Then it all turns to snow in the Midwest uh, for Chicago and on up into Michigan as well. Well, for us in South Texas, this uh, air is going to be very comfortable. Low, low humidity is gonna make clear cold nights, but sunny mild days. The days will be very pleasant under high pressure for today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. If you need dry weather, this is a pretty good dry week. As we look on the horizon, though, we'll see that next big storm coming into the northwest, but that probably won't affect us until sometime on Saturday, so we're not going to worry about it in the short term. Right now, we're looking cooler today, only 60, and 60 the high tomorrow as well, so rather crisp at night and mild or cool during the daytime. We start warming up on Thursday. Thursday, Friday as the south wind kicks in just in time for that next little front. But as I mentioned, it doesn't look like a very strong front at this point in time. That's your Monday morning for forecast brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy.